G'day. In today's video, I've got a HP ProBook. This one is a 450 Generation 6, and I've got a failed mainboard in this one. But I have a good working mainboard right here out of one that has been nearly destroyed. So what I'm hoping to do is combine the two and end up with a relatively usable machine. So you guys are going to follow me along. So to begin with, I want to remove the battery. I'm going to need a larger screwdriver for that one. There we go. Now this one here just has had mainboard failure. So I'm hoping I can just simply swap it over and have a working, a good working machine from there. I'm going to have to take out the battery. And then disconnect a whole bunch of the flex, uh, the flex cables that are around. And strangely enough, I don't have to remove the CPU core. So I take this off. If it lets me. No. What's going on here? There we go. One stubborn battery. We do have this weird little bracket here. Which, I don't know if it's there for acoustics reasons or if it's meant to help keep the copper cooler down. Take that out of the way. I want to disconnect up here as I'm leaving that cable connected on the mainboard. And then I'll slowly work my way back. Disconnect the keyboard. Disconnect the daughter board. Backlight LED, fingerprint reader, trackpad. Uh, I suppose I will have to undo this one here, which is a it's just a weird adapter to be able to make it fit in this particular chassis. All it is is a bridge. There, disconnect, disconnect, undo screw, undo another screw, another one, up here, Maybe disconnect the video cable, I should just be lifting this connector up, Bring it back. Another screw here. That should be slowly undoing what needs to be undone. Disconnect the antenna cable. Disconnect the loudspeaker, or just the speaker in general. Fold it out of the way. Disconnect the power cable. These screws along here. Hard drive adapter. So while I'm here, as quickly. No, they've got custom screws, or T screws for the hard drive adapter, or for the hinges. A bit cheeky. One more screw down here and the smack bang in the guts. If I disconnect the fan. There we go. Most of that should lift up. Up and will it let me wiggle it back. I'm going to swap that onto the new one. That's one board out of the way. Side. And next up is the reverse. So I'll sit the board in down here.
So power, speakers, video, not quite in. Now in. Fan. So I'll go through and do all these cables up first. And after that, I'll go through everything, or go through all the screws. Trackpad. Go. Backlight. Fingerprint reader. A loose floppy hard drive cable. Go. The antenna cables. Reconnect the antenna cables. Line them up, push them down. Let's click into position. Same with the other one here. This back on over here. It wants to line up. Yeah, that's not, it feels like it. My magnetic, my magnetic screwdriver is now no longer acting magnetized. I have to sort that out in a moment. Put this cover back here. Now, let me take up over here for the USB port. There we go. I think it's a matter of putting all these screws back in. Hopefully from here, I'll have a machine that will power up once more. Being that the body on the old one was completely buggered. And this one was in serviceable or working condition. Fan connected, yes. Next, adapter board. This little one. Okay, I feel like I'm missing one screw somewhere. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe a round one down here. No, we're not threading on. Put in the younger of the two batteries.
a couple more down here. Had fan spin for a second there. That is all the screws have now been used. Not worrying about the screws in the bottom just yet as they aren't overly important. Before that, I probably should have actually put in the NVMe SSD. Take these out, just lift that up slightly, feed this one in. Undo the screw, push down, screw back in, push battery back down. Slight fan spin again. Battery. Another thing I do want to do is just tighten these up. Considering on the other machine that I've got here, this, the donor of the, of the working motherboard, being that it had these hinges or mounting points fail, I kind of want to make sure that this one is going to go fine. Seems like it's trying to start, which is odd considering I'm not pressing the power button right now. You're finding the right screw. Not in that collect collection. Look in this collection. Nope. There we go. And the backlight keys are currently lighting up. We have a system post. That's probably a good sign. Those screws are done up as tight as I can get them, or as tight as I want them. Let's flip it over and see what we got going on here. We're off, no. Now we're off. No, it's ignoring my power button presses. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Looks like I may replace the power button on this particular machine. Something is not quite right. I will investigate further. It turns out the USB port is also part of the power button. Really need to magnetize this screwdriver. I've still left the battery connected. I've just changed over the power button. It's ignoring me right now. Let's get some power to this laptop. Power in. Got a charging light now. It up. My power button is being ignored again. I'm going to leave this on charge and come back to it a bit later. So after all that, it turns out that the replacement had a faulty display. I just tried a different video cable from the other previously working machine. 
Hit the power button. We should get an image on here, like so. So the biggest culprit is the donor had a faulty screen, which is a tad disappointing, but I'll replace the screen as well, and then this can all go back together. cover in, hold it all together. And this corner down here is being stubborn. There we go. Now, did I put a screw in the wrong screw hole? Nope, that's looking all right. Excellent. These ones back in. At least to where I think they should be going. They're coming in just slightly, but they're not screwing in quite all the way. Let's take a look. Here and here, now here and here. Again, that one's going in. This one over here. Go. Yeah. There's two along the front. In between, I remagnetize the screwdriver, which is making this process a lot easier. I mean, the replacement spare parts machine didn't come with any spare screws. I think I'm going to be down one screw with this replacement. Never mind, there was one still floating around. Go. Okay. If all goes well, this will power up again for me. Power button. It's good. And bingo. Memory size error. And here we go. Right now I'm just installing Windows 11 on here. The screen hasn't given me any more grief. I've got the board and the donor machine. And right now, we're going good. So, a bit of a battle, but it got there in the end. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.